I've upgraded my operating system that I'm running Hyper-V, but I have not yet upgraded the virtual machines themselves. If we type in the get-vm star, then the format table and version, hit enter, we can see that there's a whole bunch of version fives here. I did upgrade one called Laptop One, which is a virtual machine, and I upgraded that so you can see it upgraded it to version eight. So this went from a 2012 R2 to a 2016 server. In order to do these upgrades, you have to make sure that the virtual machines are turned off. Otherwise, they will not upgrade to get a message saying that it can't be done in the current state. So make sure it's off, and then let's try again. I'm going to do the test server that you see here, which is turned off. It's right about the middle of the page. As you can see here, update-vm version, then the name test. It's asked me to confirm. Hit Y for yes. And now it's done. Now I'm just going to confirm that it's done. We'll get the get VM star again, and we can now see test is done as well. Now, if you want to do all of them at once, then you can just do a star after it. So I'll remove the name of the computer and just put in star. Now only the ones that are shut off will actually upgrade. So I'll hit enter. I'll just say yes to all with the letter A. So some of these are going to error out and some of these are going to work. And I'll just clear the screen and we'll do a get VM again. And look at all that. Many of them are now upgraded to eight. And the last two that aren't, I just need to shut down and run the command again. And then it should upgrade those as well. So that's how you upgrade your virtual machines to the latest level. And in this case, it's Windows Server 2016, but this will work in any version of Windows Server from 2012 on up.